I'm Xerxes, the developer advocate here at Google, back again in our AdWords API series. In the first video, we looked at what the AdWords API is and what it can be used for. In this video, I want to get you to your first API call. This is a complex process, so I wanted to break it down for you step by step. You may want to pause the video from time to time so that you can follow along. This will open the door for you to take full advantage of the AdWords API. We're going to use Java and Eclipse. If you don't use Java, you can accomplish all of this with the client libraries in these other languages. The concepts are all the same. Here are the six steps you need to follow. Request a developer token. Create a test AdWords MCC or My Client Center account and a test AdWords client account. Set up your development environment. Set up OAuth2 access. Configure your client application. And finally, make your first API call. So let's start. To be able to use the AdWords API, you need to have an AdWords MCC account. If you don't have one, you can request one here. Next, request a developer token. This is what allows your application to connect to the API. Log in to your AdWords MCC account. In the gear menu, choose account settings. Then in the menu on the left, click AdWords API Center and fill out the form to apply for a developer token. Check your mail for another application form and complete it. You should receive it within two business days. You can also find that form here. While your developer token is pending approval, you can start using it to develop your code with a test MCC account. API calls you make to the test MCC account will not serve any ads. Use this link to create your test MCC account. After you create it, use the AdWords web interface to create a test client account under that test MCC account. And in that test client account, create a few test campaigns and save the client account customer ID for later. Now, let's turn our attention to your development environment. If you're an experienced Java developer, you probably already have your environment just the way you want it. If not, we will walk through the recommended setup for the Java client libraries now. First, install Eclipse from here. Eclipse for Java EE is recommended because it includes Maven. Then, download the Maven AdWords client library for Java from here. The client library handles all of the backend API calls for you and exposes friendly objects to work with. This particular archive also includes code samples, which are very helpful. Extract the files and open them in Eclipse by choosing Import Existing Maven Project. If you get Maven compilation errors, you may have to install additional M2E connectors for Eclipse. If you still have some errors in the palm.xml, you can ignore them. The code samples should still run properly. Now, let's move on to setting up OAuth2. The AdWords API uses OAuth2 to allow your application to operate on behalf of your AdWords account. To get set up, follow these steps. Go to the Google Developer Console and log in with your MCC credentials. Create a new project. Go to APIs and Auth in the left menu and select Credentials. Follow the workflow to create a new client ID. And when prompted, choose Installed Application as the application type, and Other as the installed application type. It will then display your newly created client ID, client secret, and redirect URIs. Save these for later as well. Just a quick note that client here means your application, not the AdWords MCC or client account. Now, let's go back to Eclipse. In the client library and samples project, open the ads.properties file here. Now you'll need all of these values that we've been saving for later. First, 
enter your developer token on this line. It's okay if it's not approved yet, since we're using a test account customer ID. Then, enter your test client customer ID on this line. Enter your OAuth2 client ID and client secret on these lines. Then, enter the name of your application or organization on this line. You can leave any other values at their defaults. You'll notice that there is a line for a refresh token. This token is used by the client library to generate new OAuth tokens as needed. The client library has a utility to retrieve that refresh token, which we can use now. In Eclipse, find getRefreshToken.java and execute it. The Eclipse console will print a URL. Open a browser and log into AdWords with your test MCC account. Then copy that URL into the browser. Click Accept and copy the code back into the Eclipse console where prompted. The console will then print a refresh token. Copy that into the ads.properties file. I know, it's a lot, right? But this file should now contain all the necessary information to make API calls against your test AdWords client account. So in Eclipse, open up getCampaigns.java and execute it. The console should print a listing of the test campaigns in your test account. Congratulations, you just made an API call with the client library. It was a long journey, but now you're ready to explore the power of the AdWords API. Thanks for watching, and this will all be worth it, I promise.